Well, this is cute. Okay, so uh, <laughs> this is my new living space apartment. I'll be doing like uh, unpacking my 12 books. Yes, that's right. 12, no, 12 boxes. That is right. Of books that I brought with me from Sweden to Denmark. And the background noise is my mom helping me in the kitchen. And these are my bookshelves. And um, the lighting is not great, I realize. But this is, this is the best I can do. And so I'm going to be unpacking these boxes down here. And hopefully you guys can see. It's gonna take a long time because I don't know how to organize them yet, but we'll just get started. guys it is officially the next day and I only have one two three four five boxes left which is good and yes I am in my PJs because that's how we're doing it today yep this is this is what we're doing and I I'm a little bit conflicted actually I feel um yeah confused because I've seen all these like amazing videos of people doing this and like organizing their bookshelves and I just, ah, it's so hard. I have the Ikea Billy <laughs> bookshelves. Like, they're good because you can regulate the height, but you can't make it so that they're all the same height, which is really annoying. Um, yes, but I'm thinking, I usually organize them first by category, like all my sci-fi together, fantasy together, non-fiction together, blah, blah, blah. And then within those categories, I organize it by um, alphabetical order, so which I think is pretty smart. Because then you just need to go to the category and then look at the author's last name. Like right now, some books, like this book, it doesn't fit in here. It only fits into certain shelves. Which means that like if I have all my fantasy together, they're going to be different height. And then I'm not going to be able to... Then I have to find like a whole like three shelves after each other that all fit different heights. Which is really hard and I'm so confused. And, uh. But I'm definitely not going to fill all these shelves. Which is comforting in a way. Um, I still have like one more shelf above my Harry Potter shelf here, but which is like nonfiction and children's books, I think. So I should probably just get started and stop talking. Um.
Okay guys, I think I should do like a little update because officially I have put all my like fiction books in and it's kind of full but I still have like this shelf, two shelves down here and two shelves down here and then I also have all the top shelves that you guys can't see on camera right now. So I think I'm like pretty good right now, like I'll have a lot of space to buy more books and since I have so much space. I'm wondering if I should make them like really pretty, you know, like you only see on YouTube. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, on like um, a bookstagram and stuff. Yeah, I'm thinking of making it pretty. And I'm just wondering like what books I would make extra pretty and what would be just be in my shelf. Like I'm thinking of having um, a shelf with like authors that I have a lot of books by or of. Um, so like for example, Neil Gaiman. Victoria Schwab, Brandon Sanderson, and maybe like Lainey Taylor, that I would have like a shelf for those. I was thinking of that, and then I have like these longer series, or not like the trilogy, and these are all actually my retellings. And I don't know if I should keep them together or put them together with the fantasy. And at the same time, like here I have all my uh, red classics, and then here I have all my unread classics. So I don't know if I should mix them, or if I should keep them separate, or if I should get, like, it's really complicated. Like, how do people do this properly? Uh, and the same here, like, these are, like, like, this series are all by um, Maggie Stiefvater, and I don't know if I should keep, like, these on, like, a separate shelf and have the Crooked Saints with that, or separately, or, oh, my books are falling. <sighs> You, you guys are just gonna have to see what happens. <laughs> uh, literally. Okay, let's just do something. Okay guys, now let me explain how I've organized this bit of my bookshelves. Yeah, I know it's not like super organized, because it's not like 100% anything. So up here I have all my young adult slash middle grade fantasy, and then here I have all my adult fantasy. Um, everything except Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami, because um, I don't want to separate his books, and I feel like this one is a, li a little bit more magical realism, so I'd rather put them here than in the adult section. Um, also, I don't have any more space in the adult section, so <laughs> I'm lazy. Um, so that's here, and everything is like alphabetical order except these books here, which don't fit in this way. That's that, and then on this shelf here, everything is in alphabetical order except um, these books right here, which is D, which should be first, actually. Then down here, um, I have also series, so these are basically just series, and this one is adult young a, YA, um, and here I have alphabetical order, everything except this book right here, which should be with Maggie Stewater here, somewhere. So that's that, but I'm pretty pl pleased with this, like these are all my fantasy books, <laughs> so it's quite a lot, um, I, I'm really, really pleased with this, I think. So. 
Yeah, let's continue. So guys, I am done with organizing my bookshelves. So this is how it's gonna look for now. And since I have like all my teddy bears down here and there as well as up here, I still have quite a lot of space to work with, but I mean, I'm gonna live here for like a while now. So I will need extra bookshelves just in case. And I'll show you guys how I organized it. So here is my Harry Potter stuff. YA and, ah, uh, no it isn't, this isn't YA. Okay, well that's really confusing. Everything except the Night Circus is why. <laughs> Everything except the Night Circus is young adult here. Young adult fantasy, adult fantasy, series and series, and fantasy and teddy bears. So that's that. The series I think are all just young adult, maybe except the Truth Witch series. And then up here we have my comics and adult, everything that isn't fantasy. This one is a dystopian, oh this one. But like everything except that, basically. Yeah, um, haven't read these. I'm explaining this really badly. All of these I have read and all of those I have not read. Um, these are my class, those are my classics, the classics. And then here we have my TBR, so I have not read anything on the shelves and, and nothing on those below and nothing over here as well. I know I'm really bad. Up here I have like nonfiction um, books. Here are my like special edition books and two like uh, fun books, sort of. And then down here we have mental health books. I don't have that many actually. And here we have um, sci-fi. So I read everything up to there and those are the ones I have not read. And then we have contemporary. Um, it's these two shelves. And then on the bottom here we have thriller and scary stuff. And then ha we have the True Blood series, and then the House of Night series. And then here I have um, the Hush Hush series, I think. And there we have my Norwegian books. And there are Paranormal, Spiritual, and what is this? Um, Dystopian and my Swedish books. And I think that's all, actually. I'll give you guys an overview. Yeah, sort of an overview. <laughs> So guys, those are <laughs> me organizing my bookshelves. I hope you enjoyed this little PJ time with me. It's quite late now actually, it's like 2, 1.30, so it took quite a long time, but I've been doing other stuff as well, and this will probably be my filming angle in the future because I have my window here, so it's pretty good lighting and you can see all my bookshelves when I'm doing bookish videos. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Will only be this pretty now, then I'll read loads of books and I'm gonna have to change it all. Yeah. But I hope you guys enjoy, I hope you have a lovely day and a lovely reading time, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye!